when you think about your career when you think about finding your unique path always think about how can you combine two to three skills to become the someone that has that usp that no one else does but there's one thing which is common in all of the examples i've given today the era of the software developer is over like that specific job that you are a software developer you are not a software developer that's over everyone is a builder today now there are over a 100 insane ai tools launching every other week there are companies who are getting launched one after the other and they are doing something incredibly unique using ai and taking that into every field possible now as a student everything that you do today can now be accelerated using ai and i'll just show you how to do that now one tool which none of you mentioned which is really powerful is this thing called as google ai studio how many of you know about it so google ai studio for those of you who don't know is a incredible playground which you can use to experiment with gemini's capabilities gemini is basically the llm that google has created which you can use to do anything you want with google ai studio so if i were to show you the potential so let's go to ai studio.google.com/live now this in your at your screen is an incredibly powerful tool in which you can literally have gemini which is google's large language model become your friend and come with you and see your screen and you can ask any doubt you have about anything that you are using for example let me share my screen i'll share my entire screen and let's say i go to ideogram so i want to understand how can i create an image using ideogram okay it seems that you've successfully logged in now you should see a text box that says describe what you want to see in that box you can type what you want to generate and then click on the generate button does that make sense yeah i i i want to make a youtube thumbnail so how can i make it with ideogram can you help me with that okay you'd like to create a youtube thumbnail using ideogram so in that text box where it says describe what you want to see type in a description of the kind of thumbnail you like then click the generate button after that you should be able to choose from the generated images does that make sense yep so what you're seeing right now is google ai studio is helping me learn anything clear any doubt that i have and i can build anything that i want as long as i have this with me so basically what you're seeing right now is a assistant which is there with you at all times helping you do anything that you want to you can take it on spreadsheets you can take it on any app and it will help you with anything that you want assistance with you want to create a new canva ppt it will help you with that you want to edit a video it will help you with that in fact let's actually edit a video right so i will open up final cut pro which is a editing software i'll create a new project and i'll import some video okay let's say let's say i have this a video of mine which i import over here and i want to cut this video so i'll start a new stream i'll ask it to have a look at my entire screen and i can now talk to it hey uh, can you help me figure out how to split this video sure i can help you with that okay to cut the video in final cut pro you'll want to position the playhead where you want the cut to be and then press command plus b this will split the video into two clips at that point is there anything else i can help you with suggest me a good transition given the content in your video a simple cross dissolve transition may work well but if you would like something more dynamic you can try light leaks or flash transitions do any of these appeal to you yep i think i'll just go with the black hole okay i see the black hole transition applied to the timeline is there anything else i can help you with in your video editing no i think that'll be all thank you so much so what you just saw is a ai assistant which can teach you anything that you want and you can use it for anything that you would probably want to use so that's one amazing tool which you should use if you want to learn any software on your laptop on your screen another one if you want to study effectively if you want to quickly learn any concept 
So Notebook LM is this really powerful tool by Google, which you can use to basically drag and drop any resource that you have. It could be a PDF, it could be a YouTube video, it could be a blog, it could be any text file, it could be any audio file, anything. And it will take all of that information and you can ask any question about it. You can create mind maps from it. You can generate any FAQs from it, flashcards from it, basically helping you learn any concept that you want faster. So again, if I go to Notebook LM, Let's try Notebook LM. Okay, I am on Notebook LM. Let me create a new notebook. Okay, let's go to YouTube. Let's take DSA and let's search Striver. And there you go. Take you forward. And let's take an example. I will take this and I'll paste this YouTube video. So I'll go here, paste this YouTube video. I'll click on insert. So now I have one YouTube video as a resource. I can add more sources. So let's say I search DSA roadmap and I get some platform. Let's say I get GitHub. So I go to GitHub and I can basically copy this and I can put this as a link. So the website link. So I'll paste this, click on insert and now I have my second source. Then I can add another source. So let's say I have a book, some book that we have access to. So we can drag and drop this as well. So now we have a book, a blog and a YouTube video. And this is the magic of Notebook LM. Now we have access to all of this and we can generate anything that we want. The best feature that I love is this podcast version. So over here, I can create an audio overview in Notebook LM. So if I click on generate, it will take some time, like five to 10 minutes, but it will create a podcast in which there are two people who are discussing the topic DSA in depth, teaching you all the concepts in this podcast by taking into account all the information that you've added, the sources that you've added, and it will give you all of that. So it will take some time. But another crazy feature of Notebook LM is the mind map. If I click on mind map, it creates a mind map of all the learnings from the sources that I've added. It's an amazing way for you to revise any concept. It's a great way for you to see everything at once. So if I click on this, I have a complete mind map for free, which is made for me. And I can click on Cumulative Programming Roadmap and it will give me more information about this. So I can go into depth. So I have strings, I have functions, I have recursion. So if I click on recursion, I can see exactly the concept and I can read about it from the content that I've added here. So I can quickly learn about recursion and what it is all about. Then I can again go back to my mind map and let's say I want to go into learning DSA. I can again zoom into this and let's say I have this roadmap, personalized roadmap. I can click on this and it will again take me to that specific point in that source where this topic has been talked about. But basically, this is an amazing tool you can use to learn anything you want faster. So start using it today if you haven't already. This podcast will take some time. We'll get back to it after talking about the next tool. Okay, so we talked about Notebook LM. I'll also quickly show you Napkin AI. So Napkin AI is great for creating infographics that you can quickly build and then you can turn that, your notes, into interactive visuals. So I'll just take this and I will go to a new blank napkin and I can now write any concept that I want and it can turn it into an infographic. So that is the best part about it. If I go to the library, let's say I want to go to, I want to go to, if I start a YouTube channel, let's say this is my notes and I can select any of these and it can turn it into an infographic that looks like this. Now you can use this in your presentations you can quickly revise any concept from it and you can basically get to the topic faster and revise it faster. That's the best part about nap napkin AI. If you want to build websites, the tool which we just talked about, Replit, is incredibly powerful. And I'll just quickly show you how it works. I'll show you what we just built. So this is an app that I built when I met Amjad. So in front of him, I entered this very simple line which said, Build a project management dashboard with three progress sections. 
Now this is something which you might have seen in Trello or Notion or Asana or any of these project management boards. These are real companies who are selling this for money. Now I went in and I said that this is the sections and it's for a marketing team that you're trying to hire. Now it took that and it built this app for me. Now this app is a fully functional responsive app which I can use for any team that I have in my company. So I asked Amjad that what is the use of this really? And he replied by saying that there are so many companies who want their inside internal tools to be replaced with tools that they've made themselves and not rely on other third party tools like Asana or Trello or other ones. So they really want to build these internal tools themselves and they want to make it quick. And that's where they come in handy. So this is an app which I made in less than 10 minutes. It was able to break down every single step. It built it in 10 minutes. And if a developer would want to build this, it will take how many time? How much time will it take? Definitely longer than 10 minutes. So that's the power with Replit. And you can build pretty much anything that you want and end me, you can just deploy it with one click. Now I'll have to pay for this for me to actually deploy it. But then I'll have a link which I can share with anyone. They can open it up. I can add a Stripe integration and people can start paying for my service. And there you go. I have a running AI tool which makes me money just built using Vibe coding. So Replit is an incredibly powerful tool which you should definitely check out. You can start using it for free as well. Now if you want to start researching better, there's an amazing platform which someone already took a name of called Perplexity. Say that I want a deep research. So on perplexity, I can create an in-depth research for anything that I want. So I'll just say the state of AI hardware in 2025 with all the important, let's say that's what I want to do. I'll press enter and you will see perplexity use deep research to go through hundreds of articles and create an in-depth document which will teach me the most important stats, companies, numbers that are important for this topic. So if you will see here, it is going through a lot of topics. It's searching all of these things and it will get back to me with an in-depth report. Now let's actually see if we have the podcast. So now here you go, you have a 18 minute podcast which summarizes the entire DSA roadmap video that Striver has made. You can start playing this and let me actually show you what it says. All right, diving right in. Today we're tackling something really fundamental in computer science, data structures, and algorithms, often called DSA. Yeah, core stuff. You gave us this really in-depth annotated reference and our goal is to break it down. Can you hear it? The most important concepts give you a solid understanding without getting too bogged down in the deep. There's memory details for you. Right, like behind the scenes. And in a singly linked list, that connection only goes one way to the next node. Forward only. Now the book mentions that their implementations keep track of both the beginning, head, and the end mm. looking for a word in the dictionary. Exactly. And the book talks about the core operations, inserting, searching, and deleting. So it's an epic way for you to learn anything that you want faster. Now you can also get into the interactive mode. And this is where it gets even crazier. So I can basically intervene and ask any question that I want about this topic. So I will go in here, I'll play this, I'll go to interactive mode. Today we're tackling something really fundamental in computer science. Now I can join this podcast. Yeah, core stuff. You gave us this really in-depth annotated reference and our goal- Oh, hey, I think I was got something to say. Hey, uh, real quick, what's a linked list? Can you give me an example of a linked list with an explanation about it? Oh, hey there. Absolutely. Let's unpack this. A linked list is a way to organize data. Think of it like a treasure hunt. Each clue you find is a piece of data. And each clue also points you to the next location. That pointer is the link in a linked list. So instead of everything being in one continuous block, like in an array. It's spread out but connected. Imagine a train. Each car holds some cargo. And each car is connected. So basically, it can, or it can listen to your question, give you the answer, in the middle of the conversation. It's just like having two friends talking about some topic and you asking them a question about it. How cool is that? And this is available for free. And we have the report ready as well in the meantime. So this is an in-depth report which we can now export as a PDF. 
and I can open this up like this and I can start reading a five page document which is well researched and has the latest stats and numbers in the topic of AI hardware in 2025. Now the last thing I want to talk about is if you want to start networking better. So let's say that you met someone online, you reached out to them saying that, hey, I love that app that you made. I like the work that you're doing. Let's get on a call and see how we can work together, for example. Now, they will set up a call with you, but let's say you forgot about the call and now you just see it five minutes before. You have no context of them or what questions to ask them. And you're just opening that meeting with no context and no background. And that's the worst thing that you can do. Let's say they're a recruiter. Let's say they are a freelancer that, that you can learn from. You have no context. And that is one opportunity missed. Now, I have this tool which I've been using called Mindy AI. So Mindy.com. Mindy goes into your calendar, sees what meetings you have and prepares you for those meetings with the click of a button. So you do not have to search 10 different websites. You can simply go in here and be up to date with what is the question to ask them, what is the background you need to know about them, and then how can you move forward from there. So if I continue with Google, let me open this up. Let's see what meeting do I have. Okay, so I have some meetings lined up for me. Let's say that I have a meeting with my co-founder. It's a sales call. Now I can create a dossier. Now a dossier, is basically a document which I can use to get an in-depth insight into the person that I'll be talking to. It's like a document which says the background of this person, what questions to ask them and how can you both work together. So it goes on LinkedIn, understands their profile, understands your profile on your LinkedIn and figures out how can you both work together. So if they are a founder and I'm an agency owner, it will talk about how can I sell my services to them. And this is an amazing tool because it does it all seamlessly. So if you are someone who wants to connect with people and really want to build your network and want to have in-depth conversations with anyone, this is a must to try tool that you should have in your arsenal. And these were the top five tools that you need. If you want to learn anything, check out Google AI Studio. If you want to study effectively, check out Notebook LM. If you want to build websites, check out Replit. If you want to research effectively, check out Perplexity Deep Research. And if you want to start networking better, check out Mindy AI. And that is the talk. And lastly, I just want to leave you with this one thought. And that is your overthinking is keeping you from achieving what you could have. So the more you overthink, ki kya mujhe karna chahiye, ya fir log kya bolenge, and all of that, that's keeping you back. That's not allowing you to move ahead and not allowing you to achieve things that you really want to. So I want you to take the first step, learn from these AI tools and start creating content on social.